At Quintrell, we like to do a lot of tasting menus, and this is the beginning of the Copper River salmon season, so we're going to do kind of a rundown on a nose-to-tail salmon tasting menu for, you know, three or four people. We're going to do some individual dishes and some family-style dishes. This is the first commercially harvested salmon that is available. Part of the reason I love Copper River salmon so much is because the Copper River specifically is fast and unpredictable and it makes the fish on a genetic level predispose themselves to kind of eating a little more and, and building up their oil so they have that last bit of energy for their final trek before spawning. That high oil content is, I think, very much what gives Copper River salmon its delectable flavor and its delectable texture. Maintaining our ethos at Quintrell is making sure that we are responsible with all our sourcing. One thing I really love about Copper River salmon is that it is a small boat fishery. They go out for 12 hours at a time, and it's 500 independent fishermen catching this product. The whole practice of this has been passed down through generation to generation, and there's something very special about that lineage. I've got the grill going and I've got all these different parts cooking and they're all kind of functioning differently. So I'm going to baste a little bit of ramp butter. The things like the collars, I'm going to use my fish sauce caramel and I'm going to have my knock chomps. All these flavors are meant to pair nicely with the smoke and the charcoal flavor. This dish is Copper River Salmon Belly. With the kanji, it's nice to have a little bit of texture. So we're going to add some crunchy vegetables and it's also nice to have a little bit of acidity so they're going to be pickled. I have some raw fresh radish, which is going to add nice texture as well. At the end, I'm just going to put a bunch of pretty things on it that are going to make sense and taste delicious. So this monochromatic green dish is grilled Copper River salmon loin. Kept the skin on and grilled skin down so it got nice and crispy. When I say monochromatic green, it's just everything that I can get green from the farmer's market this week. So I got really lovely bok choy, I got asparagus because it's asparagus season right now, and I got a bunch of just lovely different shoots and things like that that I'm going to use. I have mizuna and cress, and it's all going to get tied together with a green curry and a little bit of green oil. When we do a lot of tasting menus, on a lot of courses they get their own small thing to eat, but it's also nice to kind of mix it up and have a couple of dishes that are a little more interactive. This is a Copper River Salmon Somme, utilizing the color that we glaze with a little bit of fish sauce caramel, and then we serve it with a mixture of different sauces and kimchi and pickles and spices that go along nicely with the dish. The next dish that we did for this tasting menu were the little bit of wings that are coming off the belly portion. They're super fun, they're packed full of collagen, there's lots of fat, there's lots of meat, and it's also just fun to kind of pick up a little fish wing by a crispy fin. I basted it quickly with a little bit of fish sauce and then served it very simply with some radish and a little bit of aioli. This is a great family style dish. This is a Copper River salmon chop with some seared hackaway turnips and some Dungeness crab, which is still super seasonal in Oregon right now. A little bit of citrus, some pickled mustard seed, and a little bit of smoky trout roe, all of which will add a nice little bit of pop of texture or salinity or acidity. And part of the reason I love a chop on a salmon so much is because it encompasses the loin all the way down through the belly. So you get a really nice mixture of different fat contents. You get a different mixture of textures. We are going to utilize the head, which has got all the remnants of the collar and it has the cheek and there's all these other little pockets of lovely meat that have tons of flavor and surrounded by tons of fat. A lot of people might be turned off by looking at the head of the fish. If we're going to buy this fish from a place that is making sure that we're environmentally sustainable, then it's pretty important on my end to utilize the entire fish. It's super, super simple and we're really going to rely on the fact that this fish is incredibly fresh. It's only been out of the water for about 24 hours before it gets to me and it has lovely texture and lovely high oil content. We're really excited to be using Copper River Salmon for this tasting menu and it's so nice to taste such a high quality product in so many different ways.